What's up? It's Juice Beats. And a little bit different video today. This is a question that I get asked a lot and it involves putting the overlays over your videos. So specifically cycling videos, but I think you can apply this to any sort of data that you get off your Garmin or Strava or, you know, etc. So uh, this is just the steps that I go through to put together the overlays. And I've kind of got this down to a science where I know exactly how to put it together really quickly. And then I can get to the editing and the commentary on my videos. So the first thing you'll see is I'm bringing up on my Mac here. I'm showing you the app that I use, which is uh, telemetry overlay or telemetry overlay, however you say it. So that's the app that I use. The app that I used to use was Garmin Verb. And that was the app that I had heard about through some other YouTube videos. Um, after using it for probably a year or so, I realized that it was just very buggy, it's very slow, it's clunky, and there was no support for it. So I went back and tried to look for a new app that would work well for what I wanna do. And in my research, I found this app, saw that it was kind of a continuation of the Garmin Verb. I tried it out and liked the, all the data and everything that they had on there. It was easy to use and it's still supported. So yeah, so now I'm using it. So first thing you'll see when you open the app is to load the video. So what I do, I created three different videos of green screen. So um, if you don't know how to do that, uh, I can make another video. But basically what you wanna do is create a green screen video in you know whatever editing software program that you use. And I did mine in three different lengths. So I did uh, a three hour, a one hour and a two hour. And so I, I usually use the one hour one for most of these videos because a lot of the races that I do are under an hour. Um, but obviously if I do something a little bit more then I'll go to the, uh, the other ones that I use. So the next thing that you want to do is you want to go to your Garmin or Strava and you want to download this, the data. Um, it's usually a TCX or a GPX file. I use the original file in Garmin though because it does the power and everything um, combined in it and then I just extract that file and then upload it into uh, telemetry. So once you've uploaded your file, um, I've already created, you know, my patterns and everything for my overlays. So I've got those saved on my computer. I can just pull them right up and boom, there they are on the screen for that race. Um, obviously, when you first start this uh, program, you're going to have to go through and actually make them yourself and, and put them how you want them to go. That would be a whole nother video, but this is just how I do my overlays. So I just wanted to go through this pretty quickly and make sure that you know how I'm doing this. And so the other thing that I'm doing here is I'm going through and I've, you know, I know how long the race is, so it's about 39 minutes or something like that. When I, that's what I'm looking at here. So I'm trimming it down to make sure uh, that it ends correctly, it ends you know, on time. And then also I'm looking at the little dot and I kind of know about where the finish line is uh, for this particular race. So that's where I want the, uh, the little dot to go as well. So I want to make sure that um, I line all that up and make sure that the meters end when it's supposed to end or about where it's supposed to end. It doesn't have to be exact or anything like that. Um, you know, this is not rocket science or anything like that. So I'm just trying to get it as close as possible so that I know that it's going to end about there. And um, and so that way, once I've I've trimmed it and then I've, I've made sure that, you know, those uh, meters are zeroed out right where it's supposed to end or whatever. And then also um, the laps. So I make sure that the, uh, the laps have ended at that point as well. So you can see, I uh, kind of messed up a little bit. There's like one meter left. So I just have to go back and, and retrim it again. But um, so that's all that I'm doing there. And so retrimmed, zeroed out, laps are there right at 30. 
and then perfect. So um, once I've done all that, then I just kind of make sure that uh, the lap counter is working uh, through each lap and then I go to export and then, you know, save it, name it, whatever you want here and then uh, do that. I've already done that for, for that particular race there. So next thing is we're gonna pull up Premiere Pro, which is what I use to, uh, to do my videos and also do my overlays. All right, so I've got it pulled up here. Uh, I'm starting a new sequence and uh, this is me actually getting ready to uh, put together my next Music City video. So this is just kind of uh, the steps that I go through real quick. Um, I shoot in 1080p for both of the uh, the videos that I do and I put it into a 4K timeline. Um, it really just, it, it kind of looks better on YouTube than it would if I just did a 1080 timeline. So that's kind of why I do it that way. It's hard for me to shoot in 4K for a full video um, race or whatever because the GoPros usually run out of battery pretty quickly. So um, that's, that's, that's why I don't, uh, shoot in in 4k when i'm out there racing so 1080p is going to get you pretty good and then if you put it in a 4k timeline it's going to look a little bit better um and still you know be high def or, or whatever you know so it's still going to look pretty good you guys have seen my videos so you guys can let me know or not if they look okay but um i think they look pretty good uh for what i do and then so i'm just setting up this is just like real quick like but um so i'm setting up you know the front cam and then the back cam set it up um i usually make that a little bit smaller on the back cam and then put it up there in the top left corner but here we go so i put that overlay over top here and the next thing that you need to do is you look for the ultra key in uh in premiere pro and then next thing you do is you take the little dropper right there and under the ultra key and you just hit that uh, green screen there. And uh, there's your overlay. So super simple there um, as far as the green screen goes. So I'll give you a little tip on that so you can make your own green screen. I looked up green screen hex code on Google and then, you know, obviously copied that code, went into Premiere Pro and created a color mat in the uh, items menu in, in Premiere Pro. Put that into a timeline. You make it 60 minutes, two hours, three hours, however you wanna, um, however you wanna do that. And then save it onto your computer in whatever format, you know, 4K, 1080, however you want. And it should be ready to go whenever you need to uh, do the overlays. But you can see here kind of how it works. Um, you, you do have to, you know, obviously line it up with what's going on in the video. And that's kind of what I'm doing here, just kind of putting it together real quick. But uh, to me, it looks uh, pretty good so far. And um, yeah, nice and nice and easy. Obviously, I've had years of practice using Premiere Pro and some other editing programs. So if you do have questions, please leave them down in the comments. I'll try to answer as many as I can for you guys. But uh, anyway, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell icon so you know when I post videos. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.